fiber is a category uh, of nutrition that's often neglected in the American diet. Uh, number one, because it's just not present. Number two, a lot of people following a low carbohydrate diet and attempt to lose weight don't get enough fiber in the diet. And a lot of people say, well, what is fiber for exactly? Um, well, it serves a number of purposes in the body. Um, number one, aiding digestion, keeping the colon healthy. Uh, and a healthy colon means you absorb your food better, you eliminate wastes properly and get rid of toxins. Uh, enough fiber in the diet is also important to keep cholesterol levels lower, to keep the, the uh, liver from producing too much glucose uh, and keep insulin levels low. All these things contribute to good health and low body fat levels and a uh, healthy heart. Okay, now it's important to let's take uh, fiber one step at a time. There's two types of fiber, first of all. There's soluble fiber, that's the fiber that you uh, like oat bran that you can mix with water and it will absorb water. And then there's insoluble fiber, this fiber that doesn't mix with water. Uh, it's, fi- it's water insoluble in the sense that uh, the water cannot be absorbed and thus the fiber cannot be absorbed. Now, all fiber by definition is a carbohydrate, but it's a carbohydrate that does not get absorbed or assimilated into the body. It goes right through the body. And what's the, what's the purpose of taking in a, a food source that doesn't even get absorbed and goes right through the body? Well, it does a number of things. It binds up a lot of waste products, uh, cholesterol, bile salts. Uh, it'll, it can bind up toxins, okay? And it flushes them out of the body, essentially. Now, if you, if you think about it, the colon, okay, which is your large intestine, is a muscle, okay? It's not a muscle that we can control. It's what's considered an involuntary muscle, uh, but the, it's a muscle nonetheless. And over the years, as we get older, this muscle gets weak, okay? Uh, and if it gets weak, it can't push the waste products out of your body efficiently, okay? Uh, the idea behind taking fiber is to cause the colon to contract harder. Thus, thus working the musculature of the colon. A lot of people who have a weak colon, when they first start taking a fiber supplement, will actually notice cramping. And the cramping is coming from the same phenomenon that you would get if you go into the gym after having never worked out with a weight and do a bicep curl or a bicep workout for the day. When you get home, you're going to notice some cramping and some pain in your biceps, probably for the next couple of days, so to speak, until you get used to the activity level that you're doing. Um, same thing with fiber. Fiber has to be introduced into the diet slowly, uh, and by doing that, you will build up the musculature of the colon, ultimately helping to keep the colon strong and healthy, and, that, and that's the goal, uh, or, our, or all our goals. Because as we get uh, older, we tend to get more constipated because of this lack of musculature in that colon area. Another thing that's important is if the colon or the inside of the colon um, is, is covered, the walls of the colon are covered with waste products, okay, you're not going to be able to absorb the uh, valuable nutrients and, and the right uh, water levels out of your uh, fecal matter or out of the waste product that goes through your colon. That's a problem because if you're not absorbing your nutrients, they're being malabsorbed and they're going right through the body and being eliminated. Uh, so fiber has almost like a sandpaper-like effect. It kind of scrapes the inside of the colon out, keeping the walls of the colon very clean and clear. And, and that's an, a very important uh, aspect of health. A lot of people who have bad skin, uh, who, who, who feel tired all the time, uh, who feel uh, uh, they need more sleep than normal. This is because uh, of toxin buildup in the body. Uh, now, it's important if, when you take a fiber supplement to take a fiber supplement that has both insoluble and soluble fiber. Uh, I created Fiberlize, okay, for the sole purpose of providing a dual fiber product that has this insoluble and soluble fiber in a good tasting uh, uh, formulation. Uh, the good taste should not come from sugar, however. That, that's not going to add to the health of the body. So Fiberlize is a sugar-free product that's uh, high in fiber. Each, uh, each scoop of fiber contains uh, nine grams of fiber, mixed soluble and insoluble. Uh, but the important thing to remember about fiber is that you could take, you know, 100 grams of oat bran, okay, fiber, and it wouldn't be equivalent to, it would be equivalent probably to five grams of, of psyllium uh, fiber. So it's, not only does Fiberlize have a, a good source of both types of fiber, but it has a more potent source of these fibers, uh, coming mostly from psyllium, hemp fiber, and wheat uh, fiber. And these three fibers together create what I consider to be the ideal fiber supplement that, well, number one, will give you good f- uh, colon health via strengthening the musculature of the colon. It will keep um, your LDL or bad cholesterol cholesterol levels low. Why? Because it binds up these bile salts and eliminates them from the body. It will also help with fat burning, which a lot of people don't don't know or don't understand how that works. See, when your body is in a, a dieting state, the liver is always or constantly producing glucose via amino acids, okay? Not just from in glucose ingestion. So when glucose is released from the liver, insulin has to be released from the pancreas in order to absorb this glucose. Insulin is a fat storage hormone. 
Okay. Therefore, if we can keep the amount of glucose that's produced by the liver lower, we produce less insulin in the body, thus less fat storage. So fiber, by the fact that uh, it lowers glucose output by the liver, actually helps in the fat burning process. So let's review. Okay. Fiber does a number of things. Number one, it gives good fiber. It gives good colonic health, strong musculature. Okay. Number two, it helps eliminate waste better from from the colon. So no no leftover waste that are hanging out there coating the walls of the colon, inhibiting absorption. Number three, okay, the colon uh, lowers LDL or bad cholesterol levels. And number four, the colon also keeps blood sugar levels lower. Uh, The blood sugar coming via the liver production of also known as gluconeogenesis keeps those lower, thus keeps insulin levels lower, helps burn fat. So there's your four great... uh, or four important functions of fiber, uh, you must take in one, like I said, an, uh, a f- insoluble and soluble fiber supplement. That's the most important. And actually, let, let me mention one more good fact that a lot of people don't realize about insoluble fiber, which is not usually in most fiber supplements. Insoluble fiber has an alkalinizing effect on the colon. What does that mean? It means all this acid waste that is in the colon, okay, creates an acidity in the body, which obviously uh, suppresses immune system function down there, okay? When the immune system doesn't function well in the colon, a number of things can happen. More uh, of greatest importance is the fact that cancer cells can grow there. So colon cancer usually stems from a very acidic colon. Uh, what insoluble fiber does is it alkalinizes the colon. It neutralizes these acid wastes, thus keeping the immune system functioning very well down there so that if cancer cells or rogue cancer cells do a pop or do a rise, okay, the immune system can handle that, clean it up, and get rid of it. So add to those four functions of fiber, alkalinizing the colon, preventing colon cancer. In my mind, if I know I could take two servings of fiber a day for the rest of my life and never get colon cancer, that's enough of a reason to take the fiber right there.